guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of Jet Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Are you guys jumping off a bridge? <laughs> yeah, <they're doing> this. <laughs> hey, it's a once in a lifetime oppor opportunity, but shouldn't you guys be in better clothing? Oh, hell no. no. Better clothing? They can't be wearing no fucking skirts. Oh, hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. Why don't you just go at the same time? And there they go. Yeah, you remember Rand bought that too. I wonder if they're going to show up today. I mean, it would make the most sense to be the only girls we haven't seen. Well, technically, we have seen them, but Rin and Misa haven't really talked to them. So it would make the most sense. I mean, it's episode eight, goddammit. All the girls should be introduced by now. <laughs> That sounds so bad. Even though it's a bug, I still hate it. So, are you two going on your date today? Or are you just going training? I mean, by the way Misa looks and the way Rin looks, it seems like they're possibly going out on a date. 
but they could be going on like a training thing. Who goes training? Who has a date for training? Like, bro, what the hell? Unless you're trying to like get fit. I get that, but I don't really consider that a date. Excuse me. What's it? What you want to do? A special appeal? <laughs> no. Uh -uh. Well, okay. Mm -mm. You guys aren't idols. Y'all don't want to sit there and talk about what just happened? <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah, thank God you're feeling better now. Mm -hmm. Um. But y'all know that's not real, right? You're just wasting your time and energy. So, hold on, you gonna practice while looking for Nyo Nyo? Seriously? And let me guess, Rin's gonna get that idea. Oh! <laughs> That is worse than the dreamy, creamy sisters of Kaka Guinea. <laughs> no. Oh my god. No. 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 You're supposed to go shopping. <sighs> Rin is so hard headed. Everybody in an anime is so fucking hard-headed. You really you idiot. There are some smart ones. And then there are some that just want to lay like, oh my god. Y'all see that time? Excuse me. There is no way in hell you could pay me to go in that. I wouldn't even do it for free. You don't know what's Y'all ain't seen that movie with the catacombs under Paris, the As Below, Under, whatever the heck that movie called? Mm -mm. No. Hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. What about The Descent? Mm mm. See? 
Mm. Yeah, but then what if you get separated? Let's think about this real quick and let's be rushed. This is not a date. <laughs> no. Better hold the fuck out of her hand. You're just trying to scare me, so. Excuse me. <laughs> it's just water. It's okay. I don't think they were pinching your feet. Then what were pinching your feet? Oh, God. Mm -mm. See? This is why you don't go and uh, no. Mm -mm. Misa, you better run. Oh, oh! And the button is up. Yeah, now y'all don't know where the hell you guys are. That's why you don't run. Misa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Girls racing with the side of yeah, I'm Yuri. <laughs> Isn't that one of the girls? <laughs> Only Rin would say that. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. <laughs> I 
Well, maybe you're kind of big. <laughs> What? How can you tell this by looking? Oh my god! She's not getting turned on by that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> There's always one! <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah, so basically you need to stay away from here now. Aww. You're so sweet. Well, she was just worried. She had the right to be angry. What's up? <laughs> but you know, me, so you're gonna say yes anyway, knowing you.
could have said yes to your girlfriend, but you didn't. It's okay. I hope so. And then maybe you can finally use your logo with both of them instead of just, you know, right. Because it's still, like, when you see it from, like, the last race with Hell's Kitchen, it looks so off and so, I'm going to say, it looked good, but then it looked weird at the same time because you know the final product is both of them together and not just the face of one of them. Like, I who wants that? I mean, you know, that's like saying there's a concert and then you're saying that all these bands are going to be here, but you're really here for like maybe a couple. And then you find out maybe your favorite bands or your artists or whatever, they last minute decide not to come. Then what you want to do with them damn tickets? You think you want to go to the damn concert or like Coachella or whatever for them anymore? Heck no. I know I sure as hell wouldn't unless there's like some really good artists and shit like that. But that's like a whole nother story. This episode, I don't know why it kind of felt fillery to me. Uh, like, just a side quest <laughs> in the story, but it was nice to really see them hang out with Yuzu and Mana, even though Yuzu and Mana are Yuzu and Mana, of course. And out of all the things they decided to do was to go underneath a bridge and to go see you, like, to find Yu Yu. That's something that some of these, like, I've watched some YouTubers who sit <laughs> and think of ideas about going to, like, abandoned haunted places all the time. And I, I sit and watch it because I think, one number one, they're interesting as hell. And they're funny. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we might finally get more backstory on Re Amisa. Thank God. Okay, as I was saying, um, them doing that, it reminded me of like a lot of YouTubers that I've seen who go into abandoned places or haunted places and they try to find something or in the end they kind of get haunted or cursed by something while they're there and they're not supposed to be there. And sometimes you can see like wherever they go, it is a little bit overdrawn too much and people decide to like play around and stuff and so you never truly know in this like maybe an hour two hour three hour video or like a 50 something minute video what looks to see uh what seems to be true and what seems to be fake but there are some people who do believe who believe in that stuff i do because there is something even after death you never really know but like i'm the same person who's like i'm not gonna go into an abandoned building or even a haunted place like this group of kids went into the suicide forest but like way i think mm, yeah kind of way before like logan paul did it and so i watched theirs and they were more respectable about not showing bodies and stuff i'm like that doofus but that's a whole nother story i mean the episode was just good it just felt like a little bit, I felt almost out of place. Like, there were certain things that, like, we we needed to know answers on about the fact is, like, why these two were, yeah, they're still connected, but they're still somewhat so distant from each other. And the fact that, you know, I still want to know about uh, Rin's past with her mom and still knowing that, yes, that her mom died at a young age. 
and we barely really know anything and that she's having all these dreams about her mom and maybe her mom's trying to give her an answer or something and then now she's praying to uh the gods of Kangadaga to win the next race with her and Misa and so I do hope that happens for them because this is something that they truly need they've won one already and I think it's because the fact is Hell's Kitchen really um tore down their confidence because I mean their confidence was like at an all-time high like after their first win and they just kept going but no matter what like finally when Hell's Kitchen came down and knocked them off a high horse and sent them all the way down at the bottom saying like they're kind of useless and shit that's when you know you could see that it was really affecting them I would say more of Rin rather than Misa because Misa I'm guessing has been through this because if episode um if episode nine is going to go the way I think it is, which from that preview it is, we're going to see her past and why eventually she wanted to quit. Because it kind of reminds me of um, Hanakana um, receive about with the one girl, uh, fuck, what was her name? Not the tall pink haired girl, um, the short brown haired girl where she was like, she was in a group in a volleyball team with one of the other girls from a different team. And then eventually, I think they lost the match. She got upset about it really, really bad. And um, I think she lashed out on her teammate. Because this was like a year ago uh, when I watched this. And eventually, she she left the team. And then she rejoined again with the pink-haired girl. And then they ended up winning and shit like that. That's what it seems like it could possibly be for Misa, maybe. Or it could be something different. Because I, and it's always been like this ever since episode one for me for this show. Because with Misa, we barely really know anything about her and i've been waiting and waiting and waiting and i was like i bet you they're gonna go through this whole damn show without giving me anything on misa and finally after eight fucking weeks they're going to be able to do this and i hope they just do it right because misa seems like that one chick who has a lot a lot of stuff about her and i hope we get to learn everything not maybe everything but just a lot of things like why did you want to quit what made you not quit? That's the biggest thing. Maybe it's something about Rin's mom, maybe. Who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Jack Girls. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 9. Bye, guys. <laughs>